Welcome back to Sesame and Puff. Today we'll talk about the things that you cats should never eat. Human food. Some cats may beg when you sit down to eat or steal some bites when you're not looking, but some human food can be poisonous for them. <coughs> Alcohol. Alcohol does the same damage to cats' brains as they do to ours, but the problem is, it takes far less dose for cats to cause the serious damage seen in humans with alcohol toxicity. Take whiskey as an example. Two teaspoons of whiskey can cause a coma in a five-pound cat, and one more teaspoon could kill it. Caffeine. Caffeine in large enough quantities can be fatal for a cat, and there is no antidote for it. Symptoms of caffeine poisoning includes restlessness, muscle tremors, rapid breathing, and heart palpitations, which means the heart skipping a beat or adding an extra beat, or seem to be pounding faster than usual. In addition to tea and coffee, caffeine can also be found in cocoa, chocolate, colas, and stimulant drinks like the Red Bull. It's also found in some cold medicines and painkillers. Milk and other dairy products. We always see it on the TV that cats drink milk, but actually, cats older than eight to nine weeks of age should be fully weaned and will become lactose intolerant. In other words. They will no longer have the enzyme in the body to digest the milk, so any milk or dairy food will cause diarrhea and/or vomiting. Chocolate, chocolate can be lethal for cats. The toxic agent in chocolate is called the theobromine. This substance is in all kinds of chocolate, and it can cause abnormal heart rhythm, tremors, seizures, or in serious cases, death. Onions and garlic, onions in all forms. Powdered, raw, cooked, or dehydrated can break cats' red blood cells, leading to anemia, which means the body will have less oxygen transported to different tissues. If oxygen going to the brain is significantly reduced, it may cause coma or even death. Both eating a lot at once or eating smaller portions regularly can cause onion poisoning. Garlic, on the other hand, is five times more potent than onions and will take far less amount to kill a cat. Grapes and raisins. For these two, it really depends on how much the cat has eaten. For most cats with grape toxicity, she will be seen vomiting, salivating, and appear to be depressed within the first three hours. If the cat has eaten a lot within a day, nephrotoxicity will also be seen, and that means the tubular cells in the kidneys will die, and their kidneys will not be able to control how much water or salt to go into their urine. Your cat will be peeing a lot. Losing a large fraction of water and become dehydrated. Your vet may do a urinalysis to confirm, and in general, the prognosis is okay, since most cats are not interested in graves and will not eat too much at a time. Brawfish. First of all, raw or undercooked fish can contain bacteria and cause food poisoning, just as they do in human beings. Also, in particular, an enzyme in raw fish destroys thiamine. Which is an essential vitamin B for your cat. Lacking of thiamine can cause serious neurological problems and lead to convulsions and coma. So that's it for today. For next week, we'll have another Sesame and Pal vlog, and the week after that, I'll be talking about the common objects in your house that may actually harm or kill your cat, and how you or the vet can help him or her. So, if you're interested, please stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. And best wishes.